in the world. No, no. Last, no. <laughs> last webinar of the year for Elementa. I'm Elisa Sherman, the CEO of Elementa. And uh, with the geeky headset <laughs> is Melissa Pierce in Chicago. By the way, I'm in, I'm in Anchorage, Alaska. Melissa Pierce, COO in Chicago, our absolute guru of outreach and making connections is Ashley Kingsley. Wave, Ashley, in Denver, Colorado. Uh, behind the scenes, we've got the magic, magic of Erica in <laughs> Jersey. And Erica, how do I pronounce your last name? Uh, am I on mute? No. Greif. Mm -hmm. Right. Okay. Erica Greif. I have never said your last name out loud <laughs> until this moment. And Lizzie Post. Lizzie Post is here. She's our special guest. She was a book club uh, author uh, guest. And now she is here because we're going to be talking about gift giving. It's really just a fancy way of talking about some of our favorite products. But also, because Lizzie's here, she's going to keep us honest and keep us polite <laughs> and talk to us about the etiquette of gift giving at this time of year. Because a lot of the gifts that we're going to be talking about are related to cannabis or CBD. So what should you or shouldn't you do? We're going to find out in a little bit. Now, normally at this point, after you've seen we're all human, real, this is live, I switch over, we turn off our video, but don't do it, don't do it. Because this time we're going to stay on video and see how that works. I'm going to show some slides just to set the stage a little and give you some background. Then we are going to come back fully to video and literally do show and tells of some of our favorite products. So. That said, I have to press a few magic buttons. So one moment as I do. Uh, there we go. God, I forgot where the button was. <laughs> there it is. And now, welcome, welcome. I've done that part. This is very important. Our webinars are not possible without the amazing support of some of our sponsors. We have sponsors for our in-person gatherings, we have sponsors for our tea parties, we have sponsors for our webinars. And without them, we could not do what we do. So thank you so much to Stratus. Uh, we'll be showing you some real things in a moment. But Stratus is, has a mission and they are helping us to live our healthiest lives. Uh, I like these products because of the kinds of testing that they go through and the guidelines that they follow. And they literally left Big Pharma to start this new company, to do something that was serving the greater good. Uh, we're gonna let you read through the, their description when you get this video a week from now. The edited video of this, it will come into your inbox if you registered for this. So more, more importantly though is the fact that they are looking to produce products where you can take them with accuracy, that they are clean, and that there's some consistency because we talk about this a lot, uh, plant medicine, medicine based on plants, can, the cannabis plant, it can be variable. And so there are companies like Stratos that are going through the processes to try to make uh, good medicine. So it's coming from the plant, but they're doing things with this plant to try to bring a little bit more consistency to it, which is helpful for people who are truly, truly using this as medicine. Uh, dosing is always an issue. It's a big question we always get. So Stratos is a company uh, that has quality products and is, is working through processes to make sure that we have quality medicine. Um, so thank you very much for sponsoring this. And we vet our companies that we work with in terms of the quality of their products, but also the quality of the company, the ethos of the company. Uh, we feel very strongly that we want to work with, with companies who have people working there that, that we like. Um, so there's a lot of things that go into deciding who becomes a sponsor for Elementa. Uh, now to tell you a little bit more today, we want to empower you with better information like we always do. That is our top goal. We want you to be informed so you can make better decisions about your health and the health of your loved ones and how you're caring for them. We also want to introduce you really quickly to Elementa. Who are we? Some of you may have just signed up for the topic and don't really know who we are. So let me just tell you. But first, stick around till the end because we're going to pick a lucky winner. And that winner 
is going to get these amazing products. So first, it's the books. So one of the books at the top, Cannabis and CBD for Health and Wellness, is my book with Dr. Junella Chin. It's the great first starter guide and a really good sort of have it on hand all the time to understand the basics of cannabis as medicine and CBD. And the second book is Lizzie's book, and it's called Higher Etiquette. And that is all about the culture around cannabis. And there she is, yes. <laughs> and how to behave in this new culture, how to have proper manners in this culture, and just how to treat everything from throwing a cannabis-infused party to giving a gift. Uh, how do you do that properly? And then we've got the joy box with these four different items in it. So this is from Mood Box. It's founded by a woman, Lisa Litton. Oh, Lisa, I hope I just pronounced your last name correctly because I, I saw that you're listening. <laughs> and it's amazing. In fact, she's got several different boxes that are based around mood. So there's joy. There's also a sexy box. Um, and there's one that is much more for relaxation and sleep. So she curates the products, many different company products. Uh, plus her own products. So it's amazing. It's woman owned and really curated for us. So somebody is going to be a lucky winner and they're going to get that as well. Okay, next. Who are we? We educate. Elementa educates and empowers women. We do this in several ways. We do it through online webinars, the content we publish on our website, the emails we send out. Uh, we also do this offline in these gatherings or tea parties. The tea parties are more experiential. The gatherings are much more uh, the learning. Of course, you can learn when you experience. That's a great, great thing. So we put these together to help women, but also on the flip side, we want to help brands understand how to reach women and how to market to us. We want specific products for specific things and often it's a lot different than what our male counterparts want but also as caregivers we are often in the position of taking care of everyone including our partners, our children, our aging parents. So we help you discover really good products and again we have some criteria of how we vet these products and we bring these products and these brands to our gatherings. We talk about them here and today we're going to talk about a lot of products so I'm hurrying through this because I want to get to the good stuff. Well, here's me. I'm Elisa Sherman, CEO. Melissa, COO. We've got some really interesting backgrounds. Uh, we all come from tech, Ashley as well. Uh, I've known Ashley for 14 years. <laughs> and Melissa for seven or eight years maybe at this point. <laughs> So we go way back, uh, we are all friends, we're all moms, and we built this company uh, with a lot of passion, and it's because it's something that we needed ourselves and we wished existed. Um, Lizzie, we've already talked a little bit about Lizzie, and again, you'll be able to read through all this when you get the video. So let's talk about products. This is, I just, I had to just get some background, but this is it this is i'm turning off the slides at the moment we'll come back to the slides right before the end and we're going straight back to video make sure everybody is off mute because we are about to begin so there's a little bit of an order that we're going to do this in i wanted to start with topicals then we'll go well i'm sorry i'm going to start with Accessories, yeah. So first the outer stuff, accessories, non, usually non-cannabis plant oriented. Um, then we'll move to topicals, then we'll move to tinctures, then we'll go to ingestibles. So everything else that's sort of a non-tincture but that you take in through the mouth, digest. Okay, accessories. Does anyone have a, a nice accessory that they wanna show off? Okay, just go for it. Cause uh, right. Yeah. I mean, so gift giving. Um, I often find myself giving people new dugouts. You know, that like is like little... so nineteen eighties. I love it. Isn't Classic. it? It's like that old is school. Like classy, especially if they're made with wood. You know, this one has. I don't know what you can see, but uh, it has like like this inlaid gold. You can get it engraved. You know, same with grinders. This one is. 
is engraved with Elementa's uh, little lotus flower there. Yeah. Um, you know, I just love giving the little wooden gifts um, <sighs> that they look like super classy, but they're for this, you know, a little taboo, but pretty awesome thing. So this is like <laughs> and, one of my favorite you, things to give. And you've got, don't you have that, you're so creative. You've got that tool that you can actually do the engraving yourself. Didn't you engrave? Uh, I have ball. a laser cutter. I don't have laser the, cutter. yeah, I don't have the wood burner to do it by hand because oh. I'm not an artist. I'm just a technician. Um, so I have a laser cutter and I can just print it out on a computer and then let it go. That's cool. Ashley, yeah. do you have a, do you have a accessory type product? I don't hear you. She's not muted. Is she, is she just like whispering? Oh, we don't hear you. What are, Oh, there you go. I hear you now. I think. No. Ha! Huh. Okay, Ashley, while you work out your vocal, your sound, you're not muted, right? Now you're muted. Well, I'm going to show off a couple of things, and I hope that the plastic doesn't... Can you hear me now? Oh, yeah, there you go. Yeah, go for it, go for it. Okay. What do you have? All right, sorry about that. All right, so it's a pipe. But check this out. So it's really pretty. It's very shimmery. It's closed. The lid doesn't come off. And then you can take the lid off and see how deep that bowl is. Oh, wow. Yeah. And then it's like magnetic. So you don't have to worry about it all falling apart. Oh and it just slides off. And then you're done. It's oh, awesome. what's, it, what's it called? Who makes that? Well, Okay, so I am embarrassed because I got this on Amazon. <laughs> and I think it's called the mermaid pipe. Oh, neat. And, and it's just the greatest little pipe and it's heavy. So it's, I love this. I'm loving this a lot. So That is cool. All right, I want to show you a couple of things I've got. Um, so Urbana, E-R-B-A-N-N-A, -N -N -A, is a, one of our favorite companies, friend. Um, and Elementa, they have designer stash bags. This is their keychain one. I think it's called the Alleygram. So you can see the size. Alleygram. Odor free stash bags. Uh, different patterns. This is kind of a, almost an Alice in Wonderland type look. Little pouches um, for different accoutrements. We've got this one. I want to say it's called the kit. Comes apart. And these things can double as makeup cats. I sometimes use uh, these types of thing bags for my electronics in my purse. So, but they're odor free, and they're just super cute. So they've got so many things. In fact, check this out. Backpack. Odor free backpack. What? How, how much? How much cannabis are you carrying? Oh yeah. my gosh! Oh my gosh! <laughs> <laughs> I mean, they're, they're incredible. <laughs> so e r b a n n a dot com. Urbana. We'll type it in for those of you who are here live with us right now. Oh, I see Janice, one of our leaders. Uh, from Melrose, Massachusetts, and Kim from Montana, who's one of our new leaders as well. Yay. Oh, and ah, Victoria's there, and Wendy's there too. Wendy. Good thing Wendy's here because I have got tons of clean coke. <laughs> but um, that's for, that's in a moment. So there is one accessory. I looked high and low for it. I totally wanted to pitch it because it was the very, very first cannabis piece of jewelry that I bought. And I would never, if anyone knows my style, I really wouldn't wear a cannabis leaf or something like that. It's not my thing. But Jennifer M, and I'm going to put, type it in, G-E-N-I-F-E-R-M.com. The most gorgeous, subtle, beautiful, some of it's not so subtle as in very blingy, but beautifully designed um, accessories. We have it on our annual holiday gift guide, so definitely take a look at that. I can't find the one that I bought. I bought it at the first MJ BizCon that I went to. Wow. So I might have to buy another, but it was a sterling silver 
uh, it was a little disc with uh, a cannabis leaf cut in, but a very delicate, very pretty one. So uh, jewelry is a really, I think a really nice gift choice, uh, a safe choice, if you will. Mm -hmm. As we get into some of these other uh, products, uh, we'll talk about that, like what's a safe choice to buy. Uh, anyone else have a, an accessory that they really dig? I'm a, I'm a big fan of these Mrs. P's place cards. Oh, they're oh so cute. Card. If you're going to like an infused meal. So yeah, I'm thinking that like you could either use this to label, you know, that this food is infused or oh. you can be writing someone's name on it. And then the backside of the, of the place card shows to the rest of the table. So you can have a nice place card at your setting. But I love that they come with these little stands. Oh, and in this cute. gorgeous box, I mean, this is like, you know, this is, this is pretty. It's like packaged really lovely. Like, I think this would make a really excellent gift for a host. Oh. That all the little stands come in a little box and then the little. Oh, wow. I know. Look at this. It's like, How many come in a set? It's so nice. They come in an actual set and you have, sorry, you have a bunch to work with. I are they, are they wipeable, Lizzie? Are they wipeable? No, I would definitely say that they would absorb, you know, okay. they would absorb water. But I do, I just think they're so cool. These go vertically. So you also have that option. They're great. Those are really nice. Yeah. Now, of course, I don't think I've ever thrown a dinner party where I've ever put little nameplates. I'm not that fancy. My <laughs> man, she did it a lot time. when I was growing up as like, you know, for a, just a nicer evening party. And it was so cute. Like we do it at Thanksgiving, you know. That is me. Cannabis Thanksgiving. <laughs> yeah, I like it. Any other accessories? Just double checking. Okay. We're going to move on to topicals. And so since Wendy's in the audience, I'm going to just grab my clean coconut. <laughs> my, mine is in my shower. So I kind of put this in the order also, and Lizzie, correct me if I'm wrong. I sort of put this in the order of what would be most appropriate for the people you know really well versus the people you don't know really well. So an accessory, especially <laughs> like a jewelry or something like that might be very good for someone you don't know. Topical, still I think kind of safe for that. But as you move into ingestibles, you really have to know the person. I think right? so too, and I'd even say topical. Like I think there's definitely a whole array of stuff that you know doesn't even require consuming cannabis that's pretty much free game, whether that's books like ours, whether that's, you know, accoutrement for the table, whether it's the, <laughs> the cannabis welcome here doormat that my parents got me for my birthday. It's there. And that's the other thing is if you don't consume cannabis, it doesn't mean you don't have to get someone who does, you know, uh, you don't have to avoid getting them something. There are lots of options. Um, especially if you don't know product that well to go to. And I think that that's something for folks to think about. You don't have to consume cannabis to buy cannabis for somebody. And also CBD is making things much more accessible for everybody. And so if we're talking topical and we're to talking CBD, that becomes a really nice product, especially when it's things like lotions. Yes beauty products like a face oil or a sugar scrub for the Ooh. bath. And actually this is, this is not even just for your body in the bath. You, I, I use it on my hands. So when, I, when I'm washing my hands uh, in the winter in Alaska, I also do a little bit of the sugar scrub and the oils and the you know, botanicals. It's just, it's, really delicious and very moisturizing and then they they there is a deep relief pain cream as well like a lotion pain lotion which i still think is if you do it as a set she's got lavender grapefruit lime so that's also very terpene oriented if uh, anyone who doesn't know what a terpene is it's a chemical compound in a lot of the plants a lot of the foods that we eat uh, responsible for the smell and can have healing properties. It's like the aromatherapy of cannabis. Uh, so the citrus is really uh, very terpene-y, uh, a really powerful terpene. Uh, 
uh, the lavender really healing and soothing. Yeah, clean coconut. She's a nurse, Wendy's a nurse, and she really looks for very, very pure, pure ingredients. Just takes, when it comes to packaging, so you just showed that packaging, I wish I had one of the packages that she had sent. Uh, she sent a lot of samples for our book tour, and they were just gorgeously packaged. I looked at the going, these are the samples for giving away. I don't want to give these away. <laughs> Everything was so beautifully wrapped. I think presentation is like half the gift in a way. Big time. I do think that presentation makes a difference and that it mm -hmm. just, it gives it that extra special feel. And around the holidays, we try to create that. So I think it's nice yeah. to run with it. Yeah. Okay. Anybody else? Uh, let's do a favorite topical. All right. Oh, go for it. Sorry. Oh. <laughs> Um, so I have a topical that comes out of Canada. It is mm. called Just Add Oil. Uh, yes. One is skin and one is pain. This is from a duo of ladies, I think Tijan and Ashley. Um, and this is wonderful because these products don't actually contain CBD or THC at all. You just add a drop of it to what you're doing. Um, and the, it's a nice salve on skin, which is great for healing uh, dry skin because I'm from Chicago and, you know, it's cold and terrible. Um, and then pain is made, what, I'm going to say this wrong, uh, capsaicin. I think that's, What's, I think that's what it's called. Is that, right? It's, is that yeah, right? I think so. The pain, instead of like the menthols and those, it has the capsaicin in it and it, it actually is wonderful. I have a lot of hip pain. Um, so it's wonderful for that. And then if I need to boost it up, I can put a little um, THC oil in it or CBD oil um, and decide what my dose is that way. So just incredibly clever women to just come up with this, this uh, topical and, um, and not, not actually put anything in it and just let you dose it yourself. And that's just add oil out of Canada. Yeah, and that's so clever. And I just talked about them today because Ashley, our Ashley, just connected us with Barbary. Is that how you pronounce mm -hmm. the company? Women-owned company out of uh, Portland, Oregon. I think also New York City, and they are they're doing herbal blends, which are like tea. So it could be used as a tea. It could be used as a bath sort of tea. It could be used uh, as incense, burned as incense. It could be smoked, and you can add your own cannabis flower or hemp flour to it to smoke. So it's brilliant. It's, and I told them about Just Add Oil. I said, there's this other woman owned company who does it with topicals where it makes so much sense because it's so much easier to sell that and then allow people to add what they want or not and still enjoy it, the product. So right. very clever, I love it. Yeah. Uh, Ashley, any topicals? You know, I love Wendy Clean Coconut. I have so much of her stuff. I was gonna show you guys this. She, oh, yes. right. Gift basket. I mean, she custom made all of this. She's just oh. lovely. You guys, Clean Coconut, as far as I'm concerned, is the best skincare line out there. But I just want, does this count for topical? No, this is ingestible. That's an ingestible. What we'll, we'll gets to ingestible in a second? <laughs> you just rub it all over yourself, Ashley. <laughs> <laughs> just take those beans out. Right? <laughs> right. Okay, um, you have you have a topical as well because we'll just kind of kind of go round robin until we I get. Do, uh, yeah, the so Clover Apothecary. I've been really mm. excited by this. They're local to Vermont. They're from Woodstock, um, and one thing that I have noticed is that they sponsored a num like a couple of my book events, and mm. every time I gave samples of it out, people called me to find out who they needed to call to get more of it, and that's a product I know works. Or like my cousin, she put it on her feet. And she just said, oh my God, oh my God, that really made my feet feel better. Oh, they wow. also have, and I've lost the label to it, but this is its kind of sister product. Um, they have a CBD eye serum, and it's actually this one over here, but this is kind of what the labeling looks like. It was yeah. one of those products where the first time I put it on, I went, whoa. <laughs> that actually works. You know, when you see instant effects on the skin, I feel like that's something that's worth worth having in the drawer. So I definitely and recommend Clover Clover Apothecary. So speaking of apothecary, I okay, so I only have the little sample bottles. It's called Priya Apotheca. 
So here is their illuminating eye essence. Beautiful, sort of sleek, black. And I Ooh, love it because it's a roll-on, yeah. which I think is Very brilliant good. for an eye serum. Yeah. It's just so nice. I've never encountered an eye serum with a roll-on. So you're not even having to use your fingers. I've always been taught when you use your finger, use your ring finger to, to dab because it's the weakest finger. Well, besides pinky. Um, so you don't pull out that skin, but this roll on is so gentle and it glides and it has, you know, CBD infused. We've got a beloved beauty potion and a bliss renewal serum. And then their cream, which has the smell of rose. And that, that really speaks to me. So I am absolutely in love. I've met the women who run this, phenomenal women, female scientists. She is really cool, super knowledgeable. So these are very high quality products. Priya, P-R, oh, okay, so I'm trying to read it. P-R-I-Y-A, P-R-I-Y-A, Apotheca, A-P-O-T-H-E-C-A. Somebody typing it. Look, there we go. Priya Apotheca. <clears throat> yeah, I just, I highly recommend. I'm, this is literally sitting up on my medicine chest and is what I use daily. And I only have samples, so I'm using it super sparingly. But they're delicious and they're beautiful. Uh, anybody else right now? Because I, I mean, I could keep on going all that time. Oh, topical, that. topical. <laughs> no, no. Okay, here we go. Don't I got to get, I have to get a few more in. So this is one of our Tea Party sponsors. They have this new box set. It's called Moon Mother Hemp Company. This is their sort of uh, facial box set. Beautiful. Uh, we've got Nourish, which is hemp and Manuka honey mask. Uh, their Renew Hemp Eye Serum and their Glow Hemp Skin Serum. So this is really nice. This is another company that does beautiful packaging. Even, you know, sometimes when something has that, that texture that just feels really good. Even this cardboard, like the, the coating on it feels great. And uh, we've got a Wise Woman CBD Comfort Balm from them and a CBD Ritual Bath. So the products are just lovely and uh, woman-owned <laughs> as well. We, we tend to do that a lot. Uh, let's see. Oh, I used to joke about they're, they're going to put CBD in everything, including shampoo and conditioner. And guess what? They <laughs> did. <laughs> it's, so it's CBD, argan, and green tea for the conditioner, CBD, argan, and goji berry for the shampoo. This is from Hemp Meds. I don't know. I, I definitely have given the bath and toiletries and shampoos and things like that for gifts before. So that's kind of a neat thing. And finally, on the topical front, let me just double check. I want to make sure I don't forget anybody. If we really want to talk about topicals for pain relief, I don't know, is that weird to give a gift of pain relief? I think it depends. I mean, like, what kind of pain are we trying to heal? I think if it's just in, you know, I think if someone's complaining seriously about chronic pain, that's one thing. But I think that um when it just comes to i love this product i know it works like i would have no problem giving this which is a pain relief um it also has some arnica in it it, it really i think that it would be appropriate level pain relief okay because um i don't quite know what to... appropriate level pain relief would actually be. <laughs> yeah it's like but i'm getting this on a scale <laughs> you have to buy it at the med dispensary probably not the way to go for a gift okay well so I, uh, you know, we received a lot of the Stratus products because they were sponsoring. So they sent us a, a, a bunch of things. Uh, so I'll talk about the ingestibles and the others in a moment, but they sent a Soothe CBD, full spectrum, topical stuff. And I try our CBD products a lot. I do a lot of the reviews and I try lots and lots of pain relief topicals. And um, I have arthritis in my neck and it's gotten kind of, back 
all the technology that I use, and this works really well. And I almost kind of think that if you were to buy it for maybe your partner to take care of themselves, sort of like a little hint, and you get them the salve and you get them the full spectrum tincture or, or, or one of the other products and do it as a, like a little care set. Um, but this one I, I really like a lot. And another topical that I- are to the person, have, the easier that is. You know what I mean? Like the closer you are to the person, yeah. the easier it is to give like a number of gifts in that vein. I think. In that vein, yeah. Mm -hmm. Uh, Dr. Kirkland also makes really nice products. The packaging is totally cool uh, and the quality is really good. Uh, this is a sleep cream. This is a, just a natural skin cream and this is a pain cream. The interesting thing about CBD products, it's, it's very hard for us right now to figure out what is quality. Like it could look really good, but does it have what it says it has? And one of our recent sponsors called True Potency, T-R-U-P-O-T-E-N-C-Y.com. They actually do 30 par third party testing themselves for CBD products. And this was one of the products for their topicals that came out on top. So uh, I did know that it was a, pretty high quality product, but having somebody vet it is great. I would always recommend that if you are getting CBD products, uh, particularly if you're giving them as gifts, make sure that company is testing them. They don't have to, it's not required right now, although the FDA is starting to crack down. Um, but if they go out of their way to pay for testing, you're more assured that it's gonna be a quality product. So, Topicals. Okay, I think we're good on topicals and how we're doing on time. Oh, we're doing great on time. Well, I do have to mention a few other things really quick on the topical front. There are intimate topicals. Ooh, who can we give those to? Wow, I don't know. <laughs> but there, uh, Foria is a name that a lot of people know. They've got their CBD only, and then they've got a THC version for those intimate parts and oh, it's so funny I've got the one that says Kulo but this is uh, Toka 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 Botanicals uh, out of San Juan Puerto Rico and they have one for the front end or one for the back end <laughs> if you will so yeah I think you really have to know the person That's a close relationship That's right a there very yeah. close relationship That's like a best friendship where you can <laughs> <laughs> I have one more that before we move on to the next because I cannot neglect another super favorite company of ours female centric uh just lovely 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 is Vital Leaf Ooh. Oh, yeah. and Oh yeah. So this is their body balm. It's got 300 milligrams of CBD that uh, relieve with Arnica as well. But I know there is no scratch and sniff internet, but smell. <laughs> it's it's uh, that, that cocoa, that chocolatey smell for a topical, it's divine. So uh, when we talk about the tinctures, which we're moving on to next, in fact, this is a good segue. Am I missing anybody? Are we, we're good, right? Yeah. So moving into the tinctures, if you really wanna give a tincture as a gift, considering some of the etiquette that uh, we've already heard from Lizzie, this is the one you wanna give. Well, it, do you have yours? Hold or up yours. this one. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so that one, so mine is the chocolate mint. There you go. And yeah. hers is the rose cardamom vanilla. If you're talking about tinctures, here's the thing about them. First and foremost, giving something that someone has to ingest, you've gotta be really careful about it. You don't know what people are allergic to. Uh, you don't know what their favorite flavors are. Often the tinctures, especially early on, were very weedy tasting. They tasted like super cannabis and you have to, it's an acquired taste. You have to really like that taste. Mm -hmm. But now they're trying to you know, have the peppermint flavor. But these are the most delicious tinctures of all. The most unique flavors, um, high quality. Um, you just can't go wrong with these. And they also make CBD infused chocolates 
Uh, so I love this company. And if you were to get a whole set, like you get the body balm, you get the tincture, then you get a, a little package of their chocolates. You can't lose, can't go wrong. Okay, tinctures, everybody. I didn't pull tinctures except for this one because I thought they were a weird gift. <laughs> well, did, but did you like? But did you like how Vital Leaf was? So that that would be it, don't you think? Uh, it's like, you know what? But, okay, I brought because I knew you were going to bring the other Vital Leaf, and we are at war. I we are like at war. the which flavor is the best I, flavor? I can't. I can't eat that, that that other flavor. It's not. It just doesn't speak to me. You know, it's just a, oh, yeah. I put it in my chai tea lattes. They're perfect. So good. So good. Great idea. So good. Okay, anybody tinctures? Because I have more. I'm a, I'm a big fan of Stratos. It's, yeah, like this, I take every day. I, this one is the CBD 1000 full spectrum. It's also the peppermint. Not only is their packaging just so on point, it's just accessible. It looks like something you would buy at the store already. And you know what else I love? It's a great size. So you yeah. know, you're getting ripped off right? Like, <laughs> when you buy a bottle of CBD this big and it's like $9,000. <laughs> and it yep. lasts a long time and it's durable because I've dropped it a couple times and it hasn't broken. Um, yep. But this is my favorite right now, for sure. The and, Stratos. Yep. Yeah, and I think it's, again, we were talking about this earlier, the, the quality, the testing, uh, the process that they go through. Um, the flavor is great. Uh, it, it's lighter. A lot of these companies now are doing sort of emulsions or other kinds of processes. So it's not such thick, thick oil that you're drinking. It's, it's a lot easier on the tongue and in the palate. And what's really neat is the 1000 milligram and 500 milligram full spectrum mm -hmm. or a 1000 milligram or 500 milligram isolate. Uh, anyone who doesn't really know the difference, there's sort of full broad um, and isolate. Technically speaking, full spectrum is, is, is the one that has some trace THC. Uh, the broad spectrum, the THC is out, removed, uh, and then the isolate, it, all the different cannabinoids are removed except for the CBD cannabinoid that is isolated. Um, so depending on what you want to take, can take, uh, you have choices. And can I say something about the CBD isolate? Yes. That they have? I didn't have mine here, but I also rely on that one. And that is such a great option for people that can't have any THC, but, and know that you're getting such a quality product. Mm -hmm. um, I know several people that they struggle with that 0.3% THC with their, with um, their jobs and getting drug tested. Mm -hmm. So this is a great, great, great option. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we always have to be careful to say that, always be careful if you are drug tested. We cannot guarantee ever anything, uh, but in theory that is definitely true that you're taking away completely zero THC. So, uh, let's see, what else do we have? I just got I want, this one. Oh yeah, go, go for it. I'm gonna, I'm gonna run and get the one around the corner by my coffee maker. Okay, you'll go get that one while I show you. So some of these companies are really going all out with their presentation, Reset Bioscience. This is an interesting company and I, I don't have memorized all of their history and all of what they're doing, but uh, they are uh, definitely worth looking into. They're very much into the, the medical side and it, it's called 90, let's see, uh, Nano Liposomal Organic Hemp CBD. So here's your, there's your bottle. <laughs> this is, wow. But this is, a, this is one of the ones I was talking about, the emulsion. So it's very, very light and very pepperminty and also uh, high quality. Um, and I just got, received this and I have not tried it. So I don't know if I can recommend it, but it's back to sort of the packaging thing. Oh, yeah. That's beautiful. Yeah. That's pretty. Oh. And then it has uh, lemon and spearmint, nice. which are two flavors that I, have, I haven't seen either. So those are kind of neat. What's the name of that one, Elisa? This one is Reverie. 
Reverie. Uh, yeah, I haven't tried it yet, read a lot about it yet, but, uh, but we're talking about packaging and things like that. It's interesting. Mm -hmm. um, you know what? I had a topical that was kind of interesting and I forgot about it and I just noticed it on the shelf. Let me show you this. I think you guys will get a kick out of it. So have you heard of wine wipes? Mm -hmm. the, the little wipes that when you stain your shirt with wine, you can buy these little wine wipes and like literally clean wine off of your clothing. Okay, so wine wipes. Well, this company called The Vanity Project then came out with, and I don't know if this is the exact order, but pearly wipes, mm -hmm. which if you can't, if you don't have time or don't have your toothbrush, uh, you use these wipes and you brush, you know, you wipe your teeth. Yep, to clean your teeth. And then they also have bidets. You can guess where those are for. Ta -da! For cleany cleaning. Everyone's they getting those in their stockings. And <laughs> that's a great stocking stuff. <laughs> I know. And then clean slate which is a makeup remover. Nice. All right. And then the C this is where the CBD part comes in, the fixer. Eye mask, face mask. Yes, yes, please. Super cute. And then, and then if you don't want to get them all separately, they've got this fly girl, freshen up on the fly with our trio of beauty wipes. That's cute. Nice. That's very so cute. It's, a, it's clean slate, pearly wipes, and bidets for those moments cool. of cleanliness needs. I haven't seen much of any like that, anything. I know. Board. Isn't so clever. You're, yeah. th these are perfect stocking stuffers. Yeah, and those I, are cool. I, I, mm -hmm. uh, sorry, sorry to do that I'm out of order, but yeah, they're, they're definitely worth mentioning as, as a gift. And again, it's from the Vanity Project, and they've got all of, they list all their different uh, wipes. It's so clever. <laughs> mm -hmm. I just love these companies and, we, and women founded companies. Do we have time to go back to any of the other categories? Because I definitely of course. have an accessory of course. I would love to share. And that is that I got this, um, I got this great tote bag from the Hylie. Mm, that's cool. And on the back it says what stigma and i just love that i can't tell you how many people i've had ask me about this bag whenever i've got it out you know and it's like i just throw my computer in it and like a pair of mittens or something but it's like everyone from this 82 year old woman in the bank line to like you know our interns ask about this bag and i've been really excited that the highly decided to start selling them and so i know Part of the proceeds are going to go to a charity, but I don't know exactly which one yet. Um, mm. It's definitely one that I would say gets people's attention. <laughs> I wish I had my Highland Pantry tote oh, bag. The Hi There one. It's so cute. It says Hi There, H-I-G-H, Hi There. And it's their whole design uh, is a little, what would you call that? Retro 60s or something? It's, like, a, it's like 60s fun. Yeah. Sixty spun. It is pink and orange, and yeah, it's really cute. Ah, darn! I wish I had it with me. Um, let's see what else do we have. Oh, let me tell you about um, oh, yeah. Equilibria. Wait, I can never. Oops. There you go. Ooh. Ah, oh, oh. sort of. I can kind of see. Oh, there, there you go. go. Oh, That's I the sweet their spot. New logo. Their new logo is so great, and Equilibria is actually a company out of Chicago founded by two women I know, um, actually started, like the seed of the idea of Equilibria started at a Chicago gathering that I was running. Um, when Chicago Marcy, Elementa Gathering. An Elementa Gathering, yeah, yeah where cool. uh, the a woman that was there, um, my friend Marcy, was like, you know what, CBD is really working for me and I'm just gonna go for it. She paired up with my friend Coco, they paired up with a farm, and next thing you know, they have an entire suite of um, CBD products geared towards women. Um, and they have this lovely 300 milligram full spectrum CBD teacher that I put in my coffee every morning. Mm. So, nice. Let's do the yeah. bottle again. There's the bottle. It's almost all gone. It probably should Ooh, get another bottle. <laughs> uh, you know what? I don't know. It's like automatically I order it on subscription. Oh. So I don't even remember oh. how much it costs now, but I get that and uh, CBD capsules from them. 
which as you both know, you know, changed my life. CBD capsules and my iron medicine just worked very well together and I had a brain again. So, yay! I love having a brain. <laughs> so, and I, are we moving to ingestibles? I mean, we can come back to a couple of things and we're gonna open it up in a minute uh, to some questions as well. Or if those of you who are out there listening today, and I see a bunch of you there, if you have your own recommendations, uh, type them in. Or if you have any questions, type them in, please. There's a Q&A function for questions. There's the chat as well. Uh, we definitely would love to hear from you. So speaking of ingestibles, and you were mentioning, was it capsules that yeah. you? OK, capsules. There are also tablets. Yeah. Um, this one is Stratus. I haven't started uh, trying these yet. I, the thing about testing CBD and reviewing CBD is you, I have to wait in between the different products and sort of try to let that go out of my system. It's a little bit weird to do that, but I don't want to take them all too closely together because I want to know which one is working. Uh, but this is CBD 300. It's 10 milligrams per tablet, 300 milligrams per bottle. Um, they usually say sort of a 10 milligrams to 30 milligrams on a CBD front is sort of your daily kind of, what, uh, what do they call it, prophylactic dose, the mm -hmm. preventative dose. Uh, people, different people tolerate cannabis and CBD in different ways. So if you really are giving ingestibles, it's sort of nice to give it in a form that they can either take a little more or take a little less. That's why a tincture is really great or um, tablets like a 10 milligram one, they could take one, two, maybe three, they can figure out what their best level is. Right, so I have taken those, the Stratos ones, and they are good. Um, and they are a lot smaller than the gel caps. Most of the gel caps out there are pretty big. So if you have a hard time swallowing pills, they're really tiny, so that's lovely. Uh, oh, that's, that's a lovely good. thing about them. Um, that is, yeah, that is really but, good. Um, but also, do you give pills? For a gift that's so like I feel like a pharmacist. Yeah. Like, let's give yeah, tissue, let's one. give pills. A good yeah. one. I think it's I think it's back to the if you're giving it for your partner and it's sort of a hint for them to take care of themselves because they never like, do. Okay, how many degrees of separation can you give tinctures and pills to? Lizzie Post. Come yeah, on. no, I think I think you definitely want to keep it within that inner circle. <laughs> like Okay. <laughs> I, take a pill. Kim says take a pill might be an insult. <laughs> or, but also back to what Lizzie Ann said. You know, if, you give pills. <laughs> and, but, if you, but if you have something that has really worked and somebody says, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, I would love to get that. And you get it for them. I think that's kind of appropriate. That, yeah, I, I think that's fine. That's different. When it's yeah. something someone's asked for that you know it's one of their favorite products, I think that's, that's a totally different ballgame. Well, and also I feel like with CBD and all of the stuff we're talking about, it's so hard to navigate. And so, you know, I think for some, it could be a really good gift because many aren't going to go out and try to figure this out. Yeah. Like you if know? you, if you put together a starter kit for a good friend. Yeah. What right. you, yeah. Oh, that's a flowers. nice idea. Like I've got, like, for instance, I get really great CBD flower from, um, this is family tree here in Vermont. That's one of my friends who's a, who's a grower of hemp here in Vermont. And it's, it's really amazing quality and it smells so good and it is so easily giftable. I'm coming over, Lizzie. Like, yeah. <laughs> The thing I love about it is that like <clears throat> mixing it because you know here in Vermont we're very like well, there's no retail so we're a very gifted state, but um I I love mixing it with um a, a like a THC flower so that you can give someone a half and half joint and it's a little bit lighter for them, it's not as as much of a heavy hit, um, especially here where it's harder to test our homegrown and know exactly kind of how something's going to affect you. That is a really good point. And I had mentioned um, Barbary before, the one that makes the yeah. herbal blends. They just came out with their pre-rolls. So it's a CB, it's a hemp dried CBD pre-roll with some of their other, I think jasmine, a, a couple of things, peppermint maybe in it. That's it sounds crazy. incredibly interesting. It was peppermint, sage, jasmine. I think that's a good gift. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah, especially because <laughs> yeah, it's already 
pretty rolled. They're very, very uh, slender and um, everything about it is lovely. And what was interesting though, because I was saying to uh, her, peppermint, I don't think I've ever smoked peppermint. Jasmine, sage, like you, you never think about that. Uh, but they're herbs, they're plants, and I, I found that fascinating. So I don't know. We'll see. It's a nice, it's a nice um, alternative, too, because I never imagined I would become a joint smoker. And mm -hmm. what I find is that it becomes habitual just to roll a joint. Yep. And you can sort of mix it up with some other herbs and still have that. That's, you're winning. Yeah. Um, yeah. I, th I yeah. think, Ashley, we need like joint rolling school from you, basically. I, I feel I like that I would be a like a webinar. Oh, yeah, we did it at a elementary gathering. We did it with that tea, though, just like yeah. we all tried to so do it with hard. tea. And it was hysterical it's and hard. wonderful. I don't even do it. I just use the cones and then so jam it in. Oh. <laughs> so Are you telling me you know how to roll a joint? <laughs> like, really? I, I don't. Oh yeah. Like, a, yeah. We're we're gonna have lessons lessons with Lizzie any minute now. <laughs> that was that's that's fantastic. Um, so flower though. So we kind of got to flower, and then uh, I definitely want you to show Ashley uh the the coffee in a minute. But oh, when yeah. it comes to when it comes to flower, what about that as a gift? Like, how do you package it, and who would you give that to? And do you, do you give the flower and then some kind of accessory with it? Like, what, what would you do? I love I, I, all of the above, D. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> all the things you said. Um, go my right. favorite is to put it into a nice little jar. Um, I do really think labeling it is important. That way someone knows what strain it is that you're giving them. Um, but I also think rolling it up, you know, providing it in a small jar with a, like, a small spoon or a small pipe, or doing it with, you know, papers and a grinder and, you know, a, oh, a yeah. lighter. Um, I think those are all ways that you can make presenting flowers special. But honestly, like just a jar works great. Like you don't have to tie a ribbon around it. Like, you know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. They also have these kind of sort of childproof jars. That's a good idea, probably. <laughs> the yeah, I, the group forgets this stuff. <laughs> yeah, I'm trying to remember the name of it. It it has sort of a rubberized outside, so it's a mason jar, but it has a rubberized outside, so it's not as breakable, and it's got this really great childproof cap. Uh, not grown-up proof, thank goodness, but childproof cap. And so that is a really nice storage option. And that's the other thing too. I we didn't really have that. But storage boxes, oh, they make I, some gorgeous ones. Oh, you I have this great them. wooden thing that we sometimes put stuff in, oh, nice. uh, usually within its plastic bag, but it's handmade. You know, you can get these. You can see someone's written on the back, That's cool. Irene like Green. Um, yeah, but just these wonderfully wooden carved things. You can, can you just do a, you know, a plastic baggie of weed? It's inside there to give it away. <laughs> Why not? Oh, what about those bio, the, not the, the humidity packs? Like, oh, I yeah. think that, like that would be good to make sure you have on hand either when you're gifting flour or if you know someone who's a grower and who likes using those kinds of things. That those make nice stocking mm -hmm. stuffers. So, yeah. Hey, somebody just asked a question too. Uh, sun soil, Cinnamon tincture, that sounds great. A Vermont company. And she asked Lizzie, do you know about them, Sun Soil? And I don't know about them. I'm new to hearing them just here, but I'm stoked to check them out now. <laughs> ah. I love hearing about local brands. <laughs> that sounds really good. Anybody else uh, out there right now listening have a question for us? Uh, Ashley, can you show your coffee? Yes. Can you guys see that? Steep views. Yay, steep views. Steep views. They um they put out small batch CBD infused coffee. Mm -hmm. And they're all teas now. And you'll start seeing them like they're all over San Diego, they're in California, there's they started here in Denver. Um Yay. amazing. We love these guys and they yeah. really do it right. They really do it right. So I'm um, actually sorry, they're from Boulder or they roast in Boulder. But I have one more. 
if you like tea, um, Flora's oh. Mercantile Hemp Tea is outstanding. Um, and it comes in rosy red, chamomile, ginger lemon, yerba mate, and mint. And it is certified organic. And right. it's Flora's Mercantile. I've tested, she runs pretty rigorous um, processing local to Denver, Colorado as well. This is a great gift. And all of her stuff is online. Right. Cool. Uh, I love her. Let's see, somebody said, anyone interested in CBG, one of the other cannabinoids, oh, Twe yeah. Tweedly Farms in Oregon sells it. Oh, Tweedly Farms. Farms, interesting. And then somebody else said roach clips are great accessory gifts. Lizzie said that. I did. Was that Look at you, Lizzie. I couldn't. I can't tell she's who just, said she's it. She's just all over the place. Swami Select <laughs> has both a small one with a little one. <laughs> yeah, look at that. Uh, yeah, you know, I I love giving tea for gifts, and these are Kikoko Tea, which is also a woman-run company. Mm -hmm. Um, and Kikoko is THC, so some some people can't get it, but their packaging is just these are samples, so you can see they say no THC, which is honestly the only reason why I haven't drank them yet. Um, but the packaging is beautiful on its own. Um, they're just gorgeous. I think you can get them now in California only maybe. Um, I haven't seen them anywhere else, but they are just uh, micro dose. So they're really low dose, you know, oh, well, this one is 10 milligrams THC, but three milligrams, seven, some with 20 milligrams CBD. They're kind of wonderful teas. Oh, on the CBG front, Tweedle Farms is the name of it. Mm -hmm. uh, and then Kikoko. Okay, good. Hey, we, we're, we're already at the top of the hour. Let me go back quickly at, uh, to our last minute slides. Let's pick our winner for our giveaway. God, we have really covered a I lot know. of I know. We today. didn't even That's show all the chocolates. I know. What? I I Push cards. Yeah, oh, push cards. K U S H K A R D S. We love push cards. Oh my gosh. That's they come with the strike thing on them. I know we're going to this. Oh, I like this. I like this. Yeah. We, I don't know if you can see, but yeah. That's yeah. And then they come with a little spot to attach a joint or a pre roll or a cartridge, whatever it is your pleasure, maybe a lollipop. It's, they're so awesome and they have the cute mm -hmm. signs and puns and Lauren is an amazing woman entrepreneur. She uh, is. We love she her. She is. We do, do like them. Mm -hmm. uh, our, our books again. And this, yeah, the book doesn't come with all these stickies. That <laughs> Hold up your book. There you go. Your book is clean. Uh, definitely perfect stocking stuffers as well. Gifts of wellness, gifts of etiquette. Nice. Nice, nice. Um, okay, chocolate. What was the chocolate real quick? Uh, chocolate? This chocolate is local to Chicago. It's called Chicago Artisan. It's a husband and wife team. Um, they even use sustainable packaging, which is something that a lot of CBD companies don't. But they have dark chocolate covered almonds. They have milk mm. chocolate covered almonds. They have a griddle. Um, they, I can't remember. There's another one. Um, but it's 200 milligrams of CBD. It's gorgeous, sustainable packaging. It's delicious. Excellent. Um, that sounds yum. It is so good. And I've been holding off eating these until <laughs> after until after this because I didn't want to show you like an open package that was all mangled. Um, so I'm really excited <laughs> to show it to you. And, and that's then Chicago. Get into it. <laughs> yeah, Chicago Artist Zen, spelled R D Z E M. Z E M. And somebody yeah. else mentioned, if you're interested in THCV, California Cannabinoids has uh, cannabis mm. with THCV. So if you're in California, you can enjoy some of that. Another cannabinoid right. uh, with amazing properties. All right. So we are going quickly, 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 I think, if I can press all the right magic buttons, back to slides to pick a winner. Uh, let's, let's do this. All right. So, the winner, Erica, it's your turn. My turn. Uh, our winner this evening is Linda L. Linda L., you'll be receiving an email from me uh, tomorrow. Congratulations. Yay, Linda. All right. And by the way, 
if you are in Canada, we cannot ship CBD, so therefore uh, we will find an alternate uh, gift for you, but otherwise, enjoy, enjoy. Thank you, Moodbox, for that. Thank you, Lizzie, for a copy of the book. Uh, we'll each send you something separate, so it's going to be just like Christmas, where you're going to get three different items. Uh, and... Bonus, you will get a video recording of this. You are, if you're watching it right now, uh, then just know in about a week you'll get the video recording. Otherwise, hello all the people who weren't here today and get the video recording. Nice to see you. And a special offer from Stratos. Okay, guys, I'm gonna, oops, I was just gonna say I need your help because the video was covering it, but now I can read it. 20% off until the end of the year. Use the code ELEMENTA at stratuscbd.com. Thank you so much to Stratus. Uh, we do try a lot of products and there are products that we will review. If we do not like a product, we will not review it. We're in the middle of testing Stratus, so you don't see a review up yet. Uh, but when you, you can really tell a good product when one or several of us or all of us <laughs> are still using it, uh -huh. right? And, and it becomes part of our daily routine. So for me, uh, like I said, their topical is something that I'm using every single night. Um, all right. And how do you stay in touch with us? Elementa.com slash groups. We've got some groups where you can join based on the state or uh, we also have Canada. And gatherings. If you go to Elementa.com slash gatherings, you'll see where we're meeting face-to-face -face every month. There's At any given month, there's between usually 15 to 15. 30 plus gatherings happening in cities across usually North America, although we are expanding beyond. And then social media. We're on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter. We're on Pinterest too, but I'm a little guilty. We're not really posting there a whole lot, but we're there. Upcoming webinars. Yay. We've got some more webinars. We do these monthly. Uh, and then we also do custom webinars, just so you know. So every so often you'll see an extra webinar or two. And those are that ones that we partner with different sponsors to come up with the content. Uh, we did one with True Potency recently, but here are some upcoming topics on the 22nd of January, Cannabis and CBD for Healthy Life, February Intimacy, so we'll be talking a lot about cannabis and CBD and sex and women's personal health. And then on the 25th, cannabinoids. I think we're just going to stick with cannabinoids. I was thinking we'd combine it, but it's usually Emma Chasen. She's already committed to, to doing it again this year. She's yeah. so much information. So I think we're just going to stick with cannabinoids. We'll do terpenes later in the year. And then some book club authors. It's the, so funny because the, the next three are all cookbooks. So maybe I should call this like cooking and book books or something. <laughs> Cook and book. Right. Uh, Lori Wolf, Cooking with Cannabis, Jessica Catalano, The Ganja Kitchen, and Robin Griggs, Lawrence Potts in Pot in Pans. Huh. So we're going to learn a lot about cooking. We're going to be great. Then we're going to use uh, Lizzie's, uh, Mrs. What are those? those Mrs. Dinner Mrs. cards. Mrs. Yeah. Mrs. Dinner cards. We're, we're all going to host dinners. It's going to get wild in Q2. Oh. That's what I think. <laughs> it's going to get wild. I agree. All right. Well, thanks everyone uh, for being here with us. I hope you got some great ideas for gift giving. Most of these you need to go directly to the company websites, although uh, the mermaid pipe that Ashley talked about early on is on Amazon.com. But be really, really careful talking about Amazon. Please don't buy CBD products on Amazon. Anything that you ingest, it's not going to be. In fact, it's usually hemp seed oil, which does not have CBD. So don't be misled. If you want a quality CBD product, we've mentioned a whole lot of them, including our sponsor, Stratus. Go directly to the company websites to get that. Uh, maybe we can compile a list if we're not swamped of all of the things we've mentioned. <laughs> Who's not swamped? <laughs> maybe. Oh. <laughs> I, well, also, when you get the video, you can just keep on playing that. <laughs> Oh, I'll make a list from the report I get. <laughs> Sorry. Okay. I did have to show you something that oh. recently happened for my birthday. I got this piñata. Isn't it cute? Oh. And it was and it was full of like tiny tiny THC and CBD things. There were 
um, some tiny joints, which obviously got passed around at my party and smoked, so I can't show them to you. But they were all shoved in here, just tons of little things. So it was like a tiny Trojan horse showing up to my birthday party and <laughs> regarding everyone that that's how the that's how the weed got there. It was a Trojan horse. It was it was so cute. It was such a cute that's idea. Adorable. That, is, that is a great idea. Yeah. That is a great idea. All right. This is the final webinar of 2019. We wish you a happy holiday season. We wish you a happy, happy new year. And thanks for being here with us. And we hope to see you again soon. Bye. 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 Bye.